Dakin resurfaced later on during the outbreak of the Laura Kinney virus on Roosevelt Island as one of the three people teleported in by Dr. Strange to help Wolverine quell the crisis. He told her briefly, that his healing factor, which was the key to curing the victims of the alien plague, came back since his adventures with the Wolverines. While he agreed to join Laura, Gabby, Old Man Logan, and Deadpool in their efforts to help as many of the stricken population as possible, Dakin confessed that he didn't care for the island and was only there for Laura. He was eventually forced to stand down before the disease could overwhelm him, as his healing factor wasn't on its usual level yet. The crisis was averted, but Laura fell in a coma for two weeks. Shortly after, Dakin and others people whose powers were similar to Wolverine such as Laura, Old Man Logan, Sabretooth and Lady Deathstrike came under threat of the clandestine organization called the Orphans of X. After Laura awoke from her coma and went to space, the Orphans of X decided to track Dakin. Eventually Dakin got into a conflict with their contingent at the De Defiant Platypus Bar Inn before it was destroyed by a Stinger missile resulting in his capture. He later escaped and met up with Laura and Gabby in order to find Muramasa because the Orphans of X had recovered the Muramasa blade and created bullets from it with which could kill them. After meeting Muramasa, all three donated a part of their spirit toward the creation of a mystical suit of armor capable of withstanding the Muramasa bullets. When the Orphans of X caught up with them at Muramasa's compound, Dakin threw himself into the fray to hold them off while his sisters escaped but not before concealing a mobile phone inside of his abdomen so that they could use it as a tracking device to find him again. After rescuing Dakin, the siblings discover the reasons behind the orphans of X's hatred of them and Laura managed to reason with them and reach an armistice. 